Here we have a, a Zeus K60, uh, K56CM. We're going to open up and explore the insides. Remember to put your lacquer on something soft so you don't damage it when you move it around or scratch it. And as always, we flip to the back first. So we're going to remove this screw here. It removes the DVD drive. I'm just using my electronic screwdriver, which is non-manic. So after you remove the screw, you can drag the DVD drive out. There's two screws holding the back cover down. By removing the back cover, it exposed the hard drive and RAM. After you remove it, you just slide it down and it comes off. That's the hard drive. This is a sound cable. You need to remove it. And the other is the other two RAM. There's two screws holding the hard four screws holding the hard drive down. You need to remove the four screws to remove it. I don't have the hard drive cage. So after you remove the screws, you slide the hard drive to the left and it comes off. Now we're going to remove all the screws on the back. So, just pointing out all the screws now. The RAM you see, there's two slots, but only a unit can access one slot when you open the back cover, as the cover covers one of the other RAM, and you can't actually remove it. So, you actually have to remove the whole back cover to remove the RAM. So now we removed all the screws, you just need to lift off the cover, the back, just lift it off. There's no, it comes off relatively pretty easy if you haven't forget any screws. Remember to remove the speaker cable. Just lift it off and it comes off relatively pretty easy and it exposed the whole board.
So there's the two ramp slots. You just pull away to two sides and the ramp pops up. That's a heatsink fan. There's a there's black tab or knob there that blocks your screw. You need to remove that to remove the screw. There's three screws holding the fan down. And you need to remove the screws for the heat sink as well, as it's one piece. When you remove the screws for the graphic card and the CPU, you can remove them in any order. There's four screws on the CPU and there's three screws on the graphic card. The CPU and the graphic card are not replaceable. So whatever comes with the whatever comes with your laptop, you must keep it. You cannot change it. We're going to move the fan power cable. To remove the hand from the heatsink, there's sticky tape attached to it. You can just remove the sticky tape and it's unnecessary. You need to remove, remove the sticky tape as behind the sticky tape is where all the dust is trapped. The sticky tape is quite hard. It might take you some time to remove it. So after you remove it, the heatsink slides off and dust is normally built up here and on the other side as well. when to get a cloth. Remember when you remove your heatsink from your graphic card or your fan, you must replace the thermal paste. You don't need any special alcohol solution or liquids to remove it, to clean it. Just wipe it off with a cloth or a tissue. But be careful when you use a tissue, that tissue generally breaks apart. And also when you clean off your thermal paste, make sure no, none of them falls on your motherboard.
now we're going to remove the whole motherboard there's six screws holding the motherboard down you need to remove all the cables attached to the motherboard as well when you remove it and when you remove the motherboard be careful as the keyboard is attached to the back of the motherboard Now to reapply thermal paste, don't be cheap on your thermal paste, I'm using Noctor NTH1, it costs $10 per tube, you probably only do this once in your life. So for your graphic card, you put half a rice grain on it, don't spread it out. For your CPU, you put one rice grain on it, size of thermal paste, and you don't spread it out as well. On the CPU heat, uh, on the heating, there's numbers. Screw back the screw according to the numbers in order, starting from one. If you can't see the numbers, just follow the way I screw it back in, as I'm screwing back in according to the numbers. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. This this assembly is relatively pretty easy. Just by removing all the screws on the back, it, it exposes everything and gives you access to everything. There's a few number of screws, so be careful and look at them carefully, as they might look the same, but they probably are different. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.